three, two, one, let's go. Hello, family. Today is March the 8th, and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel here with a video. Family, I love you, and I want to thank you for tuning in with us today. Now, if you're new to our channel, I do want you to know that on this channel, we know we're living in the end times, and we're watching for the intimate return of Jesus. Family, that trumpet is about to sound, and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. So keep looking up. We're going home soon, as the bride awaits the groom. Family, that trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go. Okay, family, I pray you're all doing well today. I love you guys, and boy, do I have an interesting video today. Now, before we get into this video, I want to ask you a question. Do you think the Abraham Accords could end up being the Daniel 927 covenant with many? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about this article from Israel 365 News. And this end time headline reads, Israel engaging four Muslim nations to expand Abraham Accords. Family, let's get right into this. Okay, so I think most of us remember when the Abraham Accords was signed on September 15th, 2020 in Washington, D.C. Leaders from Bahrain, Israel, and the UAE signed the Abraham Accords. And a few months later, Morocco also came on board with the Abraham Accords, which was led and brokered by no other than Donald J. Trump himself. So what the Abraham Accords did was this. It established diplomatic relations between Israel and the nations that signed the Abraham Accords. Really, all the Abraham Accords are is this. It's a large peace treaty with Israel and the nations that have signed the Abraham Accords. And now it appears that four more countries are coming on board with the Abraham Accords. Let's take a quick look at these nations that are talking about normalizing ties with Israel. And the first country we're going to look at is Mauritania in Northwest Africa. Now, Israel and Mauritania established diplomatic ties in 1999, but that relationship quickly took a hit in 2008 due to the conflict in Gaza. And now they're talking about signing the Abraham Accords and normalizing ties with Israel. Now, let's look at the second nation. And the second country is Somalia. Now, Israel and Somalia have never had diplomatic ties, but the country's president, Hassan Mohammed, is seeking to normalize relations between the two countries. Now let's look at the third nation. And the third nation is Niger. Israel has also never had diplomatic ties with Niger. Now Niger is a global supplier of uranium, and ties to Israel may help prevent the sale of uranium to the enemies of Israel. So normalizing ties with Niger may actually benefit Israel. And the fourth nation is Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is the largest Muslim nation in the world with a population of 280 million. And they have also never had diplomatic relations with Israel. And now they're seeking to change that. Now, family, it's not by chance. We're hearing all this talk about the Abraham Accords. Let me explain. We know that the Bible tells us in Daniel 9.27 that the time is coming when a covenant is going to be made with many. And a lot of us, including myself, believe that the Daniel 9.27 covenant with many will be what can't start the tribulation. In Daniel 9.27, the word of God says this, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. Even until the consumption and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. And family, that's the Daniel 9.27 covenant with many. Myself and many others believe that this covenant will be signed by the Antichrist and it will be with Israel and it will last for seven years. Now, if you break down some of the words in Daniel 9.27, what this scripture is actually telling us is this. When this covenant is signed, it's not going to be a brand new treaty 
what they're going to do is take a treaty that's already in place and they're going to expand on it and make it greater. So family, here's my question to you. Do you think that the Daniel 9, 27 covenant with many could be the Abraham Accords? If these four other nations join the Abraham Accords, if I'm correct, that will be eight nations that have come on board with the Abraham Accords. Family, I think that is many. And family, I want to add this. All the nations that have signed the Abraham Accords, they all come out and condemn Israel at the UN Security Council meeting. I mean, who really wants friends that will stab you in the back and condemn you? I don't know about y'all, but I know I don't. And family, there's also been talk about Saudi Arabia coming on board with the Abraham Accords. Family, that would be absolutely huge. There's even been rumors that if Saudi Arabia comes aboard the Abraham Accords, that the Temple Mount custodianship will be switched to Saudi Arabia. And I promise you, that will cause much conflict. Now, family, isn't it amazing that we are seeing Bible prophecy begin to be fulfilled right before our very eyes? The convergence of Bible prophecy is on a scale like never before, and that's because Jesus is coming soon. Family, if you just take a look around this world we live in, it is screaming the soon return of Jesus. Everything, and family, I mean everything that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return we're seeing it all go down in our generation. It's all converging in our generation. The fig tree generation. The generation that shall not pass away. And family, that's why the message of the gospel is so very important in these end times. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. If you want to pause this video and go grab your Bible, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, the word of the Most High says this. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and in wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And then, my beautiful channel family, if you jump to Ephesians chapter 2, 8 and 9, the word of the Most High God says this, For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And family, I believe we all know what the Bible says in John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, my beautiful channel family, Jesus did all the work for us on the cross. When he died, the work was done. It was finished. We are not saved by works. We are saved for works. If you haven't believed the gospel of Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. You're not promised tomorrow, and time is short. Jesus is coming soon. So place your faith in Jesus today, and the Lord is just, and he will forgive you your sins. And family, that is facts. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Family, it helps us out so much, and I do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and I pray for you guys on a daily basis. I truly do. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from our prayer team, man, we would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. Because family, there's truly power in our prayer. And also, guys, if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email us at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com. And as soon as we can, we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everyone that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Amen. Give us some time to get back to you. And please include a shipping address for your free Bible. And if you want to contribute to our homeless outreach program or our Bible ministry, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. 
all contributions either go to our homeless outreach or to the Bible ministry. Family, as always, please pray about it first. And we've got another outreach trip this coming Friday. We're going to be in Greenville, South Carolina, passing out hope badges to the homeless. So if you could pray for us, family, I would greatly appreciate it. Because we can feel you guys' prayers when we're out there on the streets doing the Lord's work. So thank you so much, family. I love you. Well, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. I love you, and I'll see you in my video tomorrow. Take care, family.